Hi, I'm Scott Lehman. I'm the mixed reality lead for Software Stereo in Norway. Uh, I've been working with AR and VR for many years, and I've been working with the Microsoft HoloLens since 2015. And today I'm going to do a live streamed uh, demonstration of performing or planning a heart surgery using the HoloLens 2. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the HoloLens 2, this is what it is. It's a wearable computer with a transparent display that you can tilt up and down. And it's completely untethered device. So it's got onboard storage and onboard processing. It doesn't plug into anything else. Today, I've got it connected to a USB-C cable to help with the, the video streaming, but otherwise it's used completely untethered. So you use it, uh, you're free to walk around in the environment and use your hands, use your tools, uh, move around the world and, and talk to people. Uh, but while you're the transparent display, it allows you to see holograms anchored in the world digital objects, uh, and it also has hand tracking. So you interact with those holograms using your hands. So you can reach out and touch holographic objects and hear sound coming from them. Uh, and when you're interacting, get visual and audio feedback. So the application I'm going to be showing today is called TrueHot, uh, which is a collaboration and communication uh, tool around the subject of surgery planning uh, for the heart. Uh, and that was made by uh, Holocare, which is a joint venture between Supersteria and Norwegian hospitals to investigate how mixed reality devices can be used for healthcare. So now I'm going to share what I'm seeing. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, please let me know if the streaming drops out. Okay, let me just uh, stop the stream and start it. Okay, sorry about that. Do you see a, a hologram now? A hologram of a heart uh, in front of me here? Yes. Okay, great, great. Okay, sorry about that. So I can move around the heart. You'll see that it stays anchored in place. I can get closer or, or further away. And so this is the front end uh, is, is made using the Unity games engine uh, and the back end storage and services are hosted in Azure. So I'm, I'm using the application by myself today, but normally uh, in normal practice, you'd have multiple people uh, in the same room looking at the same heart uh, in the same place and having a conversation around it. And if we want to interact with the heart, we've got to bring up the context menu. The whole lens two has got hand tracking so I can bring up my hand, palm up, and a, a context menu will appear, and I can make that disappear if I don't need it. And I'm gonna choose the manipulate button. Now this is put in manipulation mode. I've got a manipulation box around uh, the hologram of the heart, so I can reach out and grab it and move it around. I can rotate it. Use two hands to resize it and also to rotate it. Seems a little big. I think that's that's maybe a good size. And I can also uh, manipulate it from a distance. So if I move back and raise my hand up, you'll see a ray shooting out of my hand. So I can close my hand and then manipulate it from a distance as well. If I want to rotate it just around one axis, I can grab uh, the corner uh, of the manipulation box, rotate it like that as well. But this looks good. And so now I'm interested in inside the heart, seeing inside the heart, seeing the internal. So I'll bring up the context menu again, and I'll choose the slice tool. And this gives me this uh, slice tool here this cube that I can push inside the heart to see the internal structures of the heart. I can slice in from different angles. And I can also resize this uh, slicing tool to make it uh, smaller or larger.
I think I'll make it big so I can slice all the way through the heart. Okay, I think that looks like a good view. Okay, bring up the context menu again. Disable the slicing tool so that it disappears. And uh, the HoloLens 2 has also got eye tracking. So as I look at the status icons in the top right of the context menu, it gives little pop-ups indicating that it sees what I'm seeing and provides more information. And if I want to indicate points of interest within the heart, I can use these markers that are sitting on top of the context menu, and I can grab those markers and place them in the heart. And if I want to remove those markers, I can just grab them, move them away from the heart, and trash icon appears, I can let them go. So the point of an application like this is that uh, normally when uh, surgeons are trying to solve a, a 3D problem, uh, that is understanding a specific uh, patient's anatomy and coming up with uh, solutions to that problem uh, using 2D tools. So they're using 2D monitors uh, and they're using 2D uh, CT scans uh, of that patient's anatomy and trying to make their own subjective 3D model inside their head. But I can't compare my 3D model, my understanding uh, of the problem with yours. There's no way to compare those those different understandings. And so we think uh, tools like this will provide a, an opportunity to have an objective 3D model that uh, surgeons can have a conversation around and, and try and reach consensus. Besides uh, using them in a, in a group setting in the same space, uh, in the same room, uh, this application can also be used remotely. So you can call in other surgeons from, from other hospitals to help, uh, to help with your, your surgery planning. And this is uh, especially relevant uh, in COVID-19 times where being able to do meetings remotely uh, instead of in the same location will reduce the, the infection risk. That's uh, one of the, the hospitals that we work with has had to reduce the amount of heart surgeries they plan and execute uh, by 70 to 80% in recent months. So hopefully tools like this in the future will, will help out in situations that were like the ones that we're currently in. Okay, so I hope uh, seeing this application has provided some insight into the possibilities with HoloLens 2. Uh, I'm going to cut the stream now, but uh, please, if you've got any questions about this application or about the HoloLens 2 or HoloLens 2 design and development, uh, please add them into the chat.